it is soon the holidays and I want to show you all of the games that I find to be perfect as a holiday gift to your loved ones, to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, to your kids, to anyone in the family. I'm going to go over a lot of different categories in this Christmas slash holidays buying guide. So the categories I'm gonna include in this video are single player RPGs, multiplayer games, casual games that are also more appealing to kids, and then category number four, niche JRPGs which I have just covered on this channel, check out my last video. And I want to say that you guys are very good at liking my videos. You know, when I look at my videos and I see how many likes I have gotten, I feel very lucky. Thank you so much and keep that up, that makes me happy. Okay, so for the holidays I would actually recommend that you get your kid or your spouse or anyone a switch to begin with if they don't have a switch then there is a new model of the switch out now it is the switch oled you can recognize it because it is white but it does everything that the regular switch does it's just a bigger screen and the screen is made of oled it's made of oled oh god which is good it's just the best option you can dock that switch, it's not like the switch light, in case you didn't know. Perfect holiday gift. I know I would have a dream Christmas if I, you know, never had a switch and then I got the OLED. I'm getting my OLED really soon, guys. I'm going to make an OLED video, I think. <laughs> but I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, I will get it. I hope I will. <laughs> Now to the first category, which are single player RPGs that I recommend that you uh, get or buy to someone else this Christmas. Skyrim is still one of the best single player RPG experience that I have had. I take that back, it is, it is actually the best experience I've ever had. Single player RPG, just mesmerized in the world, doing my thing. I've talked about Skyrim so many times on my channel, but you are just going to have to take my word for it if you are looking for a very lore-heavy and freedom-heavy game that is single-player and RPG, then Skyrim is such a good value for your money. Because if it sucks you in, it really sucks you in. And that happens to most people that I have talked with. Now the next game that I recommend uh, is Immortals Phoenix Rising as a single player RPG experience. I played this earlier this year, I think it was like, yeah, it's almost a year ago that I played this game. I had a great time in this game. It is a big open world, a bunch of puzzles. So this actually fits a lot to the teenager in the house and just about anyone. I mean, if kids play this, it's gonna be too hard maybe. <laughs> Some of the puzzles were too hard for me, but we have already established that I am a children. It's a children's birthday card. <laughs> I am a children. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that is a, I can say so, by personal experience, I have completed th that game and I enjoyed my time in that game a lot. I recommend. Now people are not gonna like this buying guide if I do not include Metroid Dread, dr Metroid Dread, but I don't play this game. I just recommend it to the people that are really into this uh, genre of playstyle. Now if you're buying a game for someone else, ask them first if they enjoy games like this. But from the people that I have talked with on Discord and on Instagram actually, they are super obsessed with this game. It's crazy. A bunch of people in my comment section on the Metroid Dread, Dread I say that wrong every time. A bunch of people in the comment section on my Metroid Dread video-ish video said that they are on their like fourth playthrough of the game. So it's like a fun game that you can play several times, apparently. I'm just saying what I've been told when it comes to this game. But it is a new game and I'm sure it's gonna be under a lot of Christmas trees this year. Now, Animal Crossing has gotten a new DLC and I have delved a tiny bit into it and it is just like Happy Home Designer that I played back in the day on my Nintendo 3DS and I loved it and I am liking it now also. You get that for free 
if you have already Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion, which includes some stuff like Nintendo 64 games. And that brings me to the Switch Online. Get that for your kid. You can play NES games, SNES games and Nintendo 64 games. I have been playing Zelda Ocarina of Time, my good old baby again. And I remember almost every single nook and cranny within the game. But just some tiny sections of the game and some puzzles I had forgotten about. And when I figure them out, I'm like, that is how it was done. I have gotten to the forest temple. And let me just say that Ocarina of Time, uh, to be fair, uh, I have played it from start to finish definitely over 20 times. There was a time in my life that I played it at least once a year. For, for a long time in my, my year, in my life. It's my first Zelda game, okay. It hasn't aged that much. I think the current generation can find enjoyment in Ocarina of Time. It is so amazing. The puzzles are so clever. Uh, now looking back at the game, revisiting after a few years. I mean, last time I played through it was on the 3DS. I have to say that it is quite the gem and it is the Zelda game for me. Anyways, let's move on to the next category. Multiplayer category. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, so I have written down Mario Party Superstars because someone on my Discord channel said that this game is the good Mario Party game. He said specifically, I mean Superstars, not Super Mario Party. That is the older title, this is the new one. Mario Party Superstars. He said that he recommends it a lot, so I'm taking his word for it. I don't have the game, but I am going to take this opportunity to show you gameplay on the screen and then you can decide if you like it. Now that is a multiplayer game. Fun for, I guess, everyone. It is new, so it is worth mentioning. Now we have the good old Mario Kart 8. I have said this before and I am saying it again and I will probably say it one more time in the future. But that is a perfect party game, multiplayer game, family game, kids game. And nerdy trying to beat everyone's times game. It is for everyone. So Mario Kart 8, definitely. Now my third category. It is casual games that are for kids as well. I bet most of us that are adult now, we know some sort of kid that is going to need to get some sort of holiday Christmas gift. And if that is the case, then I can gladly recommend Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Pokemon Shining Pearl. I have recently started this game and it is taking me back it is cozy and it is easy enough for any age group. I would give this to any kid's age. Any kid's that has an age. Uh, I was very young when I played my first Pokemon game. It is amazing. Uh, you capture these monsters and you train them, you collect them in a lot of ways. Pokemon is very good as a starting out game for kids. Now another game I could say are good for maybe the older kid, maybe like eight or nine years old. Zelda Link's Awakening. Now that is a remake of an old Game Boy game that was then remade to Game Boy Color. Then it was now super remade <laughs> to the Switch. Now that is some years ago now though. But it is a very colorful and happy looking game with a actually dark story. Some of the dungeons can be a tiny bit hard, but it is still a classic. And uh, I can imagine this being very cozy to play in Christmas at Christmas times. 
Some other games that I could actually mention as uh, casual kids games would be Metopia. I mean, it depends on the kid, doesn't it? Uh, you have to ask the kid what he or she is into. But uh, DC Superhero Girls, very nice game for kids. And I like it, and it is cute. You could also check that out. Now, of course, we have Mario Odyssey, which we have talked about before so many times. And, of course, Mario 3D World. Uh, just like I said with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I have said on this channel that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are, quote, boring games, but that is if you are a veteran Pokemon person like me. But I have come to realize that that is those games, they are perfect for kids. So I take back what I have said. I think they are very nice for kids. I'm just too old for it because it's so easy. But I want to have that mentioned. Pokemon Let's Go are good games for kids. Now category number four, the last category, uh, which is the niche category, niche JRPGs. I have some, you know, months throughout the year that I am just having a JRPG time, that I am obsessed with JRPGs, and I'm in that time now, as you could tell from my last video. It is the weird side of Isha Gaming, and I got a comment saying, well, Isha, you definitely talk about games that only you play, but we still watch your videos, they are good either way, I could watch you read from a dictionary if that was the case. So yeah, I can still recommend as a holiday buying guide sort of thing. The JRPGs, Blue Reflection, Second Light, I can still say that I like it so much. Maybe it is making its way up on my top lists on the Game of the Year sort of lists. The people that know what I'm talking about, they know the list that I do every year. The couple of lists that I do every year. Lord. And niche JRPG. I mean, this game is actually becoming less niche. It's crawling its way out of the nicheness. That is Atelier Risa 2. Brilliant game. That came out this year and I have played it a ton, I swear, a ton. This is too much. And I have had a blast in this game. There's so many things to do and collect and craft and it is so beautiful. That is uh, always a game that I'm gonna recommend on this channel, I mean. But these were some games to point you in maybe some sort of direction when it comes to what you want to buy for, I don't know, someone else or yourself even. And I can't wait to get my Nintendo Switch OLED. Okay, so have a nice uh, pre-Christmas times. I don't know what that is called in your language. But uh, tid, have a fun uh, that. And I will see you later. Check out my sweater. <laughs> I made this. Look at this. I want my pink shirt back. I can't talk about it, actually. Just gonna mention it again. That's awkward. I'm gonna cut that out. Definitely. Cut that out in edit. Jesus.